We'll start with Darren Smith. Go ahead, Darren. I wanted to get your thoughts on, uh, obviously, the passing of uh, Chadwick Boseman. Uh, I know you're probably a big fan of his, but also um, you you had comments that you made with Peter King earlier this week uh, about fans who, you know, may not be supportive but you know fancy themselves as Chiefs fans but of course the comments and stuff that they've made uh, you know on your timeline and Tyron's timeline uh, timeline about what you all are doing for voter registration and Black Lives Matter uh, could you kind of expound on that if you would yeah the first part with uh, Chadwick Boseman I mean obviously a huge fan of all of his work and then at the same time I got to, I got to be on the the shop with him uh, right after the right after the season and I got to meet him uh, after the after that, we I mean obviously had a conversation there, and then we went to the basketball the NBA All Star game, and we sat right beside each other. Uh, his wife, my girlfriend, they they talked. Uh, just great people, and uh, obviously uh, rest in peace to him. Uh, was a great person, so uh, total respect and total fan fan of of him and his work. Um, and then to go with the 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 second part of the question, yeah, I mean it was. It's more of I'm, I'm going to do whatever I, what I believe and what I believe is right, and I'm going to do whatever I can to fight for equality for all people. And uh, I mean, I feel like I've shown that over the, this off season. I'm going to continue that fight, and uh, we're I'm not worried about people uh, and how and how they're going to do negative stuff back to me. Uh, I'm worried about doing what's right for humanity and making sure that all people uh, feel equal. Let's go to Adam Teicher. Go ahead, Adam. First of all, um, you guys um, have been so good offensively, particularly on opening day since you've been here, and that includes your rookie year, that game in New England. Not that you guys haven't been good on offense other days as well, but what is it? Is there something you can point to, your preparations, game plan, whatever it might be for um, uh, opening day that allows you guys to be so on point uh, on those particular days? And also wanted to go back something you said after you uh, signed your contract. You talked about – the, the length of the contract, but you felt comfortable in part because uh, Brett Feach, you felt like was going to be here. What specifically about him do you like uh, as far as going forward with, with him as the general manager? Well, the first part of your question, uh, as far as the offense goes, I think that goes to the, the full team. I mean, uh, Coach Reed runs a great training camp. I think that that's a big part of it. He puts us in situations that are really game-like, um, and, uh, which I feel like is a huge advantage, especially with no preseason games. I mean, he's putting us in these situations every single day. Uh, where we might not be tackling full, but we're putting in situations where we're in third and long, uh, third and short, trying to figure out ways to go out throughout a game and, and situations that you'll be a part of. So I feel like that's why we start uh, so fast and and because we're ready right out of the gate because of the training camp that Coach, coach runs. And then uh, the second part of your question, uh, I think first off is his work ethic. I mean, he, he's a guy that's in the facility almost as much as Coach Reed. I mean, he's someone he's here all the time. He's watching a ton of film. And then I think it's someone that you can trust and someone that's going to tell you exactly how he feels and uh to, to have people like that that you can go to he's gonna tell you the negative he's gonna tell you the positive whatever it is uh, no matter who you are uh that's someone that you can really uh trust you know that they're gonna give you whatever they have every single day let's go to nate taylor go ahead nate i remember when you signed your contract you said that you know you can't do this for every organization just what has clark's leadership been like for you to watch and what does it mean to him that he's been so um proactive in your guys' efforts off the field as well yeah, I mean, it shows this organization is ran the right way. And Clark being at the top of it all the way down, I mean, they hire people and they put people in position to, to be the best that they can be every single day. And uh, they, they're the same way with us. They communicate with us uh, whenever we want to communicate with them. Uh, and we have those open conversations and we, li- we thor- thoroughly listen to each other. And so uh, I feel like that's why you get such a great culture that we have here and uh, such great players. And we go out in the field and uh, and, we, and we win football games. So we really trust each other every single day. Tweeny, go ahead, Pete. On this year's Hard Knocks, we got to see some internal discussions about the social justice stuff. And one of the frustrations was just how much emphasis there is on whether or not uh, you're going to kneel. So not asking that, but why is that so frustrating as one of the faces of the league that there's just so much emphasis on maybe the gesture and, and not the message behind the gesture? I mean, I think you, you said it exactly what it is. It, it's, it's because it's became something where it's whether or not you're going to kneel instead of what, what the reason why uh, the kneeling began in, in the beginning, which was social injustices and uh, police brutality. And I, I feel like that, that's been the, the biggest thing is it's, it's, not, it's not necessarily the gesture, but it's, we're trying to fix something. We're trying to make it where it's equal for everybody. Everybody feels safe. Everybody feels secure. Uh, everybody can go about living their life 
uh, and and they really truly care about the person next to them. And I feel like that's why it's be, that's why people feel like it's became such a thing. It's because every single time you get interviewed or you go out and you're you're in public, people are asking, "Are you going to kneel? Are you not going to kneel?" They're not asking about the actual injustices that you're that you're trying to fix and what you're trying to help the the community with. Let's go, Todd Lebo, and then Matt Derrick. The the rookies this year, I think, have an incredible challenge playing their first ever snap of their NFL lives in an actual game. Can you even understand how tough that's going to be for those guys? Oh, 100 percent be different. I mean, not being able to to go about it, run the offense in the game. I mean, I think it's more you run in a new system. Every you're coming from college to a new system, you having to run that offense, play fast without thinking, but still execute and do do what you're supposed to do every single play. I think that's gonna be the biggest challenge for them. Um, but like I said, I think Coach Reed runs a great training camp, and he puts those guys in those situations, and he and he puts those rookies. He'll, we've had rookies run with the ones, we've had rookies run with the threes, we've had them run with the twos. They they're really putting every single situation for them to go out there and thrive and deal with adversity. And so I think that's, that's to me the biggest challenge is just how you deal with adversity quickly and how you get back and go out there and be a positive impact on the team. Matt, Derek, to close out. Go ahead, Matt. The raising of the flag is just, you know, one in the latest, you know, round of celebrating the Super Bowl win. I'm curious, you know, what were your thoughts as far as that goes up? And on that Thursday night, you've, you've seen from the sidelines what goes on at a Super Bowl championship in 2017. How much are you just looking forward to all of that that's going to be going on, even if it's not going to be a full stadium? Yeah, I'm, I think I'm just looking forward to being back, being back in Arrowhead playing football for the Kansas City Chiefs. And uh, the championship banner is going to be special. It's going to be something that you'll remember for the rest of your life. And I, I'm, I'm glad that we have a lot of the same guys on the team that were with me for that journey. And we're going to enjoy that together, and then we're going to get right back to playing and try to find a way to, 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 to go get another one.